Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I'm John McDonald and it's called Take 5 with Pastor John. And my topic uh, this afternoon is uh, the early warning system. If you want to copy the scripture down, it's uh, 2 Corinthians 11, chapter 11 and verse 13. It reads like this, For such are false prophets, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. So the key word here in our talk this afternoon is the word deceitful or deception. Just a few thoughts I wanted to share with you. Number one is God has always been just and fair and he gives us plenty of warning for the things that are involved in his plan and purpose. Number two is I was, I was born in 1940, so my perspective and understanding of world events and of my world view is different than most, I'm, I'm assuming. My earliest memories were when we were emerging from the Cold War uh, after the World War II. Those, those were scary, frightening, and fearful times. Like, where were the jobs? How, how did you earn money? Would the Russians continue their trek westward through Europe and into Britain and maybe ultimately the world? Uh, thus was born the title is called the Cold War. And that was around for about 30 or 40 years when the Western world was fighting what they called the Cold War. To offset that chance of the Russians taking over, there was an early warning system put in place in many places around the world, but the one I remember best was the one that was put in place in Canada, and it was called NORAD. That stood for the North American Air Defense Command. It was set up in the northern parts of Canada, across our northern borders, and it was set up by more than one nation. What it was designed to do was to catch any airplane, air defenses, offenses that might be coming across the northern part of uh, Canada towards the United States. Well, it was an agreement that was put there to defend the northern parts against the Soviet invasion. Number th three, I remember the drills even in school around that time. I was born in 40, 1945 the war ended. 1946, the Cold War continued, and that went on for years and years, as long as I could remember. So when I was a kid in school at seven or eight or nine years of age at Wasega Beach, uh, I remember ducking under the desks when the uh, alarm went off. It was an early warning system that was set up at Wasega Beach. There was the Georgian Bay on one side, and then there was the river, and we lived in between, but the school was on and very close to the river. But in the middle of the river on a little island they called Nancy Island, they, they set up an early warning system. It was, a, it was a, uh, an alarm system, a, a siren that would go off in the middle of the river. And so of course, like an echo chamber, it would just flow straight up the river and straight down the river so that uh, anyone within the sound could tell that something serious was happening. After the Cold War, it actually became a fire alarm system for the entire beach. But I remember that occasionally that alarm system would go off. And that's when all of us as, as children would duck under the desks so that if there were any bombers going overhead, we'd be able to uh, protect ourselves somewhat. Now, fortunately, for uh, although we ducked a lot, there never was an invasion. But a system was put in place to at least give you warning. Now, the scriptural parallels that come from this simple illustration are almost too numerous to mention about God warning the nations and the civilizations of impending war and disaster, danger, catastrophe. And to just name but a couple would be uh, Noah, and uh, another one would have been Jonah, when God simply put a prophet in place who said this is what is part of God's plan and purpose. 
to to think that God would have left us in our generation now without this early warning system for the end times would be preposterous because God is a God that I said in the beginning is just and is fair. And if he's warned one generation about it before, he'll warn this generation about it again. Every age has had its warnings, and our age is no exception. I, I am so thankful for the Word of God, uh, which, is, which is true. It's still the guidepost for every Christian. And if you want to have success in life, you have to read that book to be able to read about God's warning system. I mentioned last time that uh, there are two specific signs that tell us that uh, our generation, our present time, is getting a warning. And the number one warning about that that I mentioned was that there would be great deception leading to confusion. And I mentioned that we are, we're in that time. And uh, I mentioned the different areas and spheres that are being uh, influenced by that. There's great deception happening around the world right now. And for those who just think that life is going to go on as it always has, you're living in deception because the world is changing. The second sign that I mentioned was that there is an emerging world government. And th that's happening more quickly than we could ever imagine. Um, strong governments. If you take a look at the civilizations of the past, Strong governments have been led by strong leaders. And I believe that there are some world leaders that are in place now. The scripture declares to us that there is coming, there is coming a future leader who is going to be very strong. And he will come in with a deception in leadership, but then his deception will be exposed and there will be a great climax to the end of the world. I want to talk uh, more about them in the future take five, so I just encourage you to stay tuned. We're, we're in one of the most deceptive ages of all time. There is a major battle that's developing between, between Christ and Antichrist. The scripture says, and even back at the time of Jesus, Jesus emphasized that that Antichrist spirit is already in the world. I believe that it's already in full array. I believe that the lines are already drawn and I believe that these lines are being tested every day that we're living right now. Now, for those of you that receive my notes, I've attached a name and a philosophy that you can spend some time to research. I sent it out before we came live. And if others of you would like to have a copy of the notes and of that name that I'm giving out for people to uh, research, uh, if you send me an email, I'll send you a copy of our full notes. It will give you the strategy. It will give you the tactics and it will give you the desire of those who are forming a one world government or that are involved in the globalist agenda. It will give you an idea of what's happening and how far along they already are with their agenda. If you'd like a copy, just email me. My email address is johnmcd, that's my initials, johnmcd, at thecampcanada.com. So, Take a moment and share this Take 5 with a few of your friends and keep tuned because we're going to try and give you some specifics as to what I believe is happening in the world and how it relates to the Bible and how the Bible is showing us that these things are going to come to pass. And, and even now, we're, we're living in those days when these things are happening. So I say blessings and remember, we're always in triumph as our Commander-in-Chief is Christ, not someone else around us. Please share, and God bless you, and talk to you again. Amen.